I'm Don Boyer, curator of herpetology for the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo. On October 30th, 2012, a team of conservationists and officials from the government of Tanzania, the Wildlife Conservation Society's Bronx Zoo, and the Toledo Zoo reintroduced 2,000 Kihansa spray toads to their natural habitat. After going extinct in the wild in 2009, the release of these tiny toads represents a major milestone for the future of the species and provides a powerful demonstration of the role zoos can play in conservation. The size of a fingernail, Kihansi spray toads were first discovered in 1996, existing solely within a five-acre habitat of the Kihansi Gorge of Tanzania. A newly constructed hydroelectric dam dramatically constricted the flow of the waterfalls within the gorge leading to an alarming loss of torrential mists the species depended upon. Generating one quarter of Tanzania's total electric supply, the dam's development presented a real challenge to conservationists. Together, WCS scientists and Tanzanian officials collected an assurance colony of 499 Kihansi spray toads, which were then brought back to the U.S. The special ecological conditions needed for the survival of the species were replicated in biosecure facilities at the Bronx Zoo and the Toledo Zoo. Over more than a decade, both institutions successfully bred toads and increased their numbers so reintroduction efforts could begin. Meanwhile, the Tanzanian government set up gravity-powered misting systems which artificially replicated the toads' verdant and moist habitat. While scientists continue to monitor, the outlook for Toad's long-term survival is bright. This reintroduction effort is the result of a partnership between the Wildlife Conservation Society, Bronx Zoo, the Toledo Zoo, the Government of Tanzania, and the World Bank. 